Hello friends. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to extend your GeoFi router range using any other router. So here I'm having one GeoFi router and one TP-Link router with me. Now let's connect the TP-Link router to the power source. So before proceeding, let's have a look on the back side of the router. From the right hand side, we are having push button to switch the router on or off. Next is the power adapter input port. After which there is one blue color ethernet port, which is used when we are getting a dedicated line from internet service provider. In a simple language, this is an input port to get internet from ISP. Now we are having four ethernet ports from which we are connecting our computer to get internet via ethernet cable or LAN cable. So further we are having one reset button and next is the Wi-Fi button. So this is the new button which TP-Link has given in almost all new series of router in case a user don't want to switch on the wireless feature on router. Now let's connect the power adapter and switch on the router. As soon as I press the push button you will see all light will glow at once in the front of the router but still you need to wait until the first light and the second light from the left hand side will become stable so uh, we need to wait for a while okay now it became stable and now we need to connect this router to our computer to get into the router's web page so now I will connect to the router's Wi-Fi and uh, whenever you will connect a router for the first time you will get the pin option which you will find on the router's back side. So uh, here I am entering the pin. Okay. So uh, now I will go ahead and click on OK. So it is connecting now. So we are connected. So now I will go to the router's web page. It is 192.168.1.1. In, in case you need to find your router's web page, you can go to my computer and then click on the network section. You will get this thing and you need to click on this section just right click on it and view device web page as soon as you will click on view device web page so it will open up the router's web page so right now i'm connected to tinder router that's why i'm getting the tinder router login page so now you can enter the password and continue so let's come back to the previous part. So here I will uh, enter the default username and password that is admin and I will enter the password as admin. So this is the TP-Link router web page and now I will go to the GeoFi router and first of all I need to turn it on. So uh, we need to wait until it gets booted up. Okay, and now it is stable. Now good to connect to the GeoFi router. So I will now connect the GeoFi router and I will paste the password here. I have already copied it on my clipboard. So now I will click on OK. So it is connecting the GeoFi router. So my GeoFi router's IP address is 192.168.225.1. So this is the web page of GeoFi router. Here you will get all the details regarding the router. So first of all, you need to check the IP range on, on which this router is working. And uh, also the channel on which it is operating. Like in this case, we are having the Wi-Fi channel. It is on channel number five. 
just keep this in your mind so now we will go to the tp link web page first of all uh, we need to disconnect from the uh, geofi router and connect to the tp link once again so i will enter the password now i have copied it on my clipboard i have just pasted it and clicked on ok so uh, it is connected now i will go to the tp link web page i will click on wireless if you will see these information here this is the ssid name and you could see the third number uh, the channel is in auto mode at this point of time so we need to modify the channel from the drop down menu so here you will you need to drop down and select the number five and uh, leave the other thing as it is number five is selected now so now you need to enable wds just make sure your router is having the capability of WDS breezing. So before purchasing any router, just take care of these things. So now I will click on scan to scan the SSID. It is better to scan rather than entering it manually. So scanning is the best option. So uh, I'm here. I'm getting here a GeoFi wireless device SSID. So I will connect it click on the connect to connect it and all the details will be filled automatically now the only thing required is the password just enter the password and click on save so now it is saved but it doesn't mean that uh, it will start working First of all, we need to change the IP address because this is a different series IP range. So as per the GeoFi IP range, it was working on 225. So I need to enter 225. The full IP address would be 192.168.225.2. So GeoFi router is working on 225.1 and TP-Link I have provided it 225.2 it should not be same the last digit otherwise it will have IP address conflict issue so after configuring the IP address click on save and it will ask you to reboot the router so and I will click on OK and it will take some time so right now it is rebooting I'm going to do the fast forward this process to save the time. Okay. So it is rebooted now. So this is the new web page. Just click on the wireless to confirm whether the IP address has been changed or not. Now you need to do one more thing. You need to disable the DHCP because right now we are using this router as a repeater so we need to disable the dhcp and save it as soon as you will do this thing it will start working but still we are getting the yellow exclamation mark uh, on the wi-fi signal which is on the right hand side bottom corner of the screen so i will uh, confirm this whether the network is active or not by doing a ping test i will just open the command prompt on my laptop and i will type the command ping and google.com so this is the best way to check whether the network is active or not so it just started pinging and and you could see on the right hand side bottom corner of the screen the yellow exclamation mark is gone now so it is working from tp-link router as you could see uh, on the uh, on the router there is no any external connection of internet wires like ethernet cable 
see it is empty no internet connection directly into the router but it is taking internet connection from the geo5 router which we have linked by wds brazing technology so see uh, you could see uh, it is connected to tp link router so this method is really very effective and helpful which will let you get the internet connectivity from any corner of your home or even from the terrace keeping geo5 at single position however it should be placed nearer to the tp link router so now we can able to access both the router's web page since both the router are interlinked so we can have the connection of both the router so this is the address for geo5 router that is 192.168.225.1 so this is the geo5 router web page and along with this we can able to access the tp link router page with the address 192.168.225.2 so as you could see both the router page is accessible from tp link connectivity only so both the routers is having the same series of ip but both are having its individual ip so here i have opened the youtube page to let you know whether it is working fast or not so it is working very fast no compromisation with the speed internet speed so for me it is working very fine and i can assure you if you will try this at your home you will not be disappointed with this method so that's it for today thank you for watching this video please do like share and subscribe the channel for the upcoming videos and if you are having any suggestion please suggest me in the comment section